Greetings, sisters and brothers in Christ. This is Pastor Aaron, and I'm here to introduce our first word of the month, and that is the word. Now, it occurs to me that words are all around us kind of constantly, right? Uh, We are surrounded by them. I thought it would be fitting then to begin this in our library where there's lots of books with lots and lots of different words, right? But even honestly looking around us, right? Uh, Whether you're driving down the road, there's always a lot of signs to look at. Whether you're watching TV, they're either being spoken or you can see them. Uh, Even our phones, right? Ding. And we just have to go check and see what words that we find in each of those notifications we get, right? There are words that we hear all around us. But we also know that the Word of God, when we talk about the Word, that that is somehow different, right? Hebrews 4 puts it like this, that the Word of God is living and active. I always like that, the living and active Word of God. So what exactly makes the Word living and active? Now, one of the places that we start when we talk about the Word of God is we start with the Bible, with Scripture. And it's here that we have words that, yes, are written thousands of years ago and yet still have a connection to our lives today. We can look at the story of creation. We find the God who speaks life into being, right? Let there be light, and there was light. We can go forward to the Exodus story and find the God who leads God's people out of slavery into freedom. And over and over again, there's one theme that definitely shows up, whether it's with Abraham and Sarah or with the disciples in the New Testament, of the God who calls people to go on incredible, spirit-filled adventures and guide them in all these amazing ways. It's this incredible thing that happens all throughout Scripture of God wanting to bring life into the world over and over and over again. We hear these stories here. It's here that we find the words that touch us in the deepest of places. I always love Psalm 23, where uh, the Lord is our shepherd, but not only just a shepherd, but the one who walks with us even through the darkest of valleys. I think of Jesus who says, come to me all you who are weary and I will give you rest. There are countless ways that these words become active in our lives. They, they touch us. They give us a sense of the reality of what it is that God is up to and how God lives in each and every one of us. But even more deeply, the word becomes one with us. In the Gospel of John, it starts off with, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God. It goes on to talk about this word through whom all things came into being, an active part of creation. And then it says, the word became flesh and dwelt among us. In Jesus Christ, we find the word that not only is in our words of scripture, but also is active in our lives, becomes one with us. This word that all things are created by is also the word that becomes one with us, that lives alongside us, that dies and rises again for you and for me, comes to live in our lives so that the living and active word of God cannot be separated from us. And so as we go throughout this month, as we talk about the many ways in which the word is active and living, may you know that the word of God dwells in you richly. And know that each and every day of your life. Take care. God bless.